Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best graphic settings, uh, accessibility settings, gameplay settings, basically everything in which the settings covers in Sea of Thieves. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this to you is because I've had a lot of people over on my Twitch asking about this. I actually have originally recorded this on Twitch, but I can't find the VOD, so I'm having to re-record it out of stream. And uh, I'm basically just going to be showing you my settings, why they are what they are, the benefits fits and drawbacks that they give me and uh yeah that's that's basically it so um just before we get into the video if you are new around here please consider subscribing it helps out a lot we are almost almost at 50k and uh that would be amazing if i could hit 50k like absolutely incredible also if you aren't already uh go and follow my twitch i stream daily uh, or i at least try to i have been doing it pretty well for, for a couple weeks um, and you get to come and hang out with me as I play the game. So uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, kicking it off, let's uh, go into the standard graphic settings, which I believe are only available on the PC version. I'm not too sure, but uh, these are my graphic settings. Now, you're probably wondering, why are they all cursed? Why, why, why are they all so low? Um, this stems from me being a pretty competitive Counter-Strike, oh, pardon me, player back in the day, where um, the lower the settings, the better FPS, the better your quote unquote performance. Um, so it's just habit, but also at the same time, if I had these really high, I'd have loads of extra details, which would clog up my screen and make it harder to see things. So um, if I quickly turn this all the way up to mythical uh, and I go down here, look, look at all of the shadows on my ship now if someone's jumping around here they're they're going to have constant shadows going over their character making their character changing appearance making my brain have to register that and that's going to take away from my pure focus on trying to snipe these guys right uh, it's not that big of a difference it really isn't but it's something and every advantage i can get i'm going to especially in pvp now if i come down here and i turn my lanterns on they have a lot more glow about them and they have a lot more area of effect whereas if i come back into my settings and i go down to my settings suddenly they don't have that much of an impact they're barely noticeable and it's a lot brighter down here now compare this to a tucker if someone's tucking in a corner now yes i'm still going to see them right i'm still going to see them but it's going to be a lot harder to see someone who's in a black outfit hiding here than it would be if um i had my settings on my one which let me quickly go back to bang it's a lot brighter a lot brighter now obviously i believe this is just the lighting and shadow detail the other ones don't really come into effect like the texture detail i actually don't notice a difference with anything so i just leave that at cursed anyway um but same applies down here even turning the lights on and off you barely notice a difference um and everything's just brighter now moving on to my model quality my model quality as you may have noticed is the only thing that's on rare now sadly i don't have any loot to be able to show you this but basically there's no difference between common and cursed um and i don't notice a difference between rare and mythical um Look, changes how quickly objects drop to a lower quality higher values may reduce popping but make the game run slower so essentially if i was stood here and there was a captain chest at the back of my ship on my canopy on common or cursed i wouldn't see it this loot would not load in whereas if it's on rare i would see it Rare is the minimum quality it has to be to load loot at every distance, right? Now, obviously, if it's on um, Mythical, a chest of legends all the way over there is going to look the same as if it were in front of me, right? Obviously, just with less pixels and le obviously it'll be less quality, but it will have the same detail on it. Whereas if it was on Rare, it would have less detail. Does that make sense? Let me go and try and find a piece of loot for you. Now, while we are sailing over to find some loot, let me quickly talk about the water quality. As you can see, my water detail is on Cursed. 
This is because it allows the water to have the smoothest look possible. The smoother the look, the less detail, the easier it is to see everything in the water. The easier it is to see a border, the easier it is to see a piece of loot, the easier it is to see a barrel, everything. Now, if I quickly whack this up to a mythical, boom, there's suddenly a lot more detail in the waves, mini waves, um, just this, I forgot what it's called, wash, a lot of wash, um, just a lot of, a lot of stuff on your screen. Now, obviously, if I turn this back down to cursed, boom, smooth, clean, crisp. Now, yes, it looks arguably worse or subjectively worse, but the amount that I can see is far greater and it allows me to see borders and mermaids that much easier. One thing to take away from my settings is that a lot of it is purely performance and PvP based. It allows me to have a better performance in, in PvP. Um, now obviously, as you can see, compared to the mythical shadows earlier, look at my ship now. Look at how clean and uh, empty it is. Now if I whack all of my settings all the way up to Curse, or Mythical, sorry. Boom. There's a lot more on my ship now. It's just going to make tracking things and it's going to be a lot more for your brain to render and uh, think about, you know. Whereas, bang, if I go all the way back down to my uh, custom settings, it's a lot clearer. And I'm also about to ram the island. You guys should appreciate that. I'm ramming the island for you. Anyway, so, you see that message in a bottle right there? Yeah? Now, if I chuck this down onto Cursed, boom, it disappears. <laughs> Gone. Gone. It doesn't exist, apparently. It doesn't exist. Chuck it up to Common. Ah, you can see it, but there's no glint. So it's back up to Rare. Boom. Now there's a glint and you can see it. Now, if I go all the way back here, you will always see it. And um, now the shine has gone, but that's because it doesn't... The shine isn't always there. It's, it happens in, like, uh, periods. Um, you cannot, you can still see it. Now, obviously, going up to Mythical, it doesn't make a difference. It really, it literally doesn't make a difference. Um, it just makes it more detailed. And it, I don't need that much detail. I know what that is. I know that's a bottle. <laughs> um, so that's the reason for the model quality. It just, it affects the render distance. Because as you can see, it has now disappeared. So that explains all of my graphic details. Now, the, I don't bother with these because I genuinely don't care how my game looks. Um, it doesn't bother me. This is all just performance. This is so I can see loot and harpoon it easier. And then the rest is just for performance and um, making my game look a bit uh, more consistent. And being less strain on my system. Now, so that should have hopefully answered your questions regarding my graphic settings. Now, if we head on over to audio settings, this is completely subjective. It doesn't really matter. Um, if I'm just chilling, I will put my volume on like seven. It'll be very quiet um, because I don't really care about hearing the game all that much. But then if I'm playing on stream, I'll play on around 15 so the stream can hear it and I can actually hear things properly. Proximity chat, directional, so I can map out where players are when they're talking. I can gauge a distance. Accessibility settings, game language, English, of course. I leave all of this on off because I, if I'm in the water, I'm going to go and, and tuck on someone. I don't want to automatically be floating. Um, fixed position. This, uh, I find it makes it harder to interact. Sticky radial items. Um, I've never bothered tampering with these. Though I will say you can ignore pretty much all of these settings. And the next one we're going to be going down to is this. High contrast X marks the spot on the color blindness filters a lot of people ask um why your x x is white uh, how do i get that x one x white on the map digs now this is just because personal preference so that's why i have it on white uh let me go and pick this up and see if i get a dig if i get a dig that's kind of crazy no of course i get a riddle um but that's the reason for that being on it's just i prefer white over the red that's it now, reduce hold to interact. A lot of people also ask, how do you quick ju juggle so easily? Found an or or ornate carafe. Now, if I press press E once, it picks it up. Simple. So loot juggling is as simple as pressing W, sprinting, and then pressing E. Then X, and then sprint and E. So I'm pressing W, shift, and then I'm gonna press E. I'm gonna press X, E, shift, X, E, shift, X, E, shift. X, E, shift, 
But uh, if I were to be doing this with it off, it wouldn't make a difference really. Well, I say that, I just pressed E out of instinct. Um, you would just have to hold E and it would be a lot um, harder. Now, luckily you don't have to hold E for that long, but it, it still just adds to uh, the things your brain has to communicate to your hands. Um, so I just keep it on because it also just makes like, it just makes everything smoother. You know, you just have to press something and it, it's done for you. Like I just press it and then I turn around, right? Just makes your life that much easier. And boys, how rich are we? 60 gold, we're rich. Um, it just makes things that eat much easier, right? It just, it just, it makes things easier for you. Um, now if I go down into the accessibility settings some more, what do I have? Escape is back. It's just an extra way to get out of barrels. Um, the rest is all on default because I don't really care about analog sticks or camera modes. Um, and yeah, the rest is uh, basically default. We're going to move on over to our video settings. 1920 by 1080 default standard resolution, full screen of course, V-Sync. Usually you would have this off on games. I keep it on because I find um, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I have no screen tear. I still get a really good amount of frames. That's that. Frame rate lock. I keep it off so I can have the most frames possible. I do cap it sometimes if my game is performing terribly for whatever reason that day. Buffering. I've just changed this up to triple but for no reason. Um, I usually played on double but I just put it on triple. Performance counters. That's how you get your FPS and ping up in the corner. Um, skip intro anima animatic simple it just makes me load into the game quicker that's pretty much all there is to talk about in the video settings now for the gameplay um very standard as well i have the maximum field of view because obviously he wants to play with a terrible field of view i want to see as much as i can island banners i will get onto this afterwards and i will go and show you the tool tales on map now now this tool tales on map setting so where is it gameplay 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 right gameplay Yes, show tool tales on map, get the table off. If I put it on and I go over to an outpost, you have these logos above it so you can start the Shroud Breaker, Wild Rose and a Pirate's Life. If I go back into my gameplay and I turn this off, boom, it disappears. Just allows me to see more on the map, let less stuff clogging up my um, what I can see and all that good stuff, you know? That's the reason for that. Island banners in an adventure, slimline, arena banners off. I don't need to know what, arena, what map... Oh. I don't need to know what island I'm coming into on arena. It doesn't make a difference to me, you know? So I, that's why I have that off. And the island banners in adventure, I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so as you can see here, I am coming into an island and a banner is going to pop up at the top of my screen right now saying Lonely Isle. There we go. Lonely Isle. Boom. Now, if I quickly go and change this to cinematic no that was too slow so that's what that looks like right i'll replay that real quick this is what it looks like when you um have it on streamline or slimline it makes it very small and it doesn't take up a lot of your screen you can still see your health bar you can still see your ammo bar um as i'm going to show you now i'm going to head on over to spring hidden spring keep fortress but uh that's what slimline does and the reason why i have it on that is because it essentially means i can see more of my screen doesn't cover up my health there have been many times in fights where i've been on someone's boat and they've come up to an island and i can no longer see my ammo or my health i go to shoot and it doesn't shoot or maybe i do go to shoot and it shoots but i'm one hp and i didn't notice you can see why that would be an issue so let me quickly go and change this over to cinematic and show you when i get to the island there we go hidden spring keep it covers up my health and my ammo i can't see my ammo or my health now as soon as it disappears you're going to see my health and my ammo again boom now imagine that comes up in a fight and you can't see anything. Like, that's going to be really stressful. You're going to be like, I can't see anything. I don't know what health I'm on. I don't know how much ammo I have. You know? So that's why I keep that on Stimline. It basically allows me to see as much as possible and doesn't intrude on my vision. Show nameplates. Um, pretty simple. What that does, it shows people's names above them. Crew status tags means at a long distance. So like my crew all the way over there, I will see above there. Uh, pyro i will see their name and the action they are doing so if they have a weapon it will have a weapon icon or if they have a bucket out it will have a bucket icon uh, so i recommend keeping this on or turning this on so you can always always see your teammates 
Uh, replace gamer tags is just a streamer setting. Now lastly, this disables season notifications. This essentially disables the pop-up in the top left whenever you step foot on an island or hand in some treasure or whatever. Um, I've only got it disabled because I'm level 100 in the uh, battle pass or the plunder pass. So I don't really need to know when I'm doing stuff, you know, because it won't make a difference to me. But uh, other than that, I will get into uh, binds in a separate video. So if you are looking for key binds, then that is um, something you're going to have to wait out for. But uh, just as a conclusion, right? I have model detail on rare so I can see loot at a further distance. Everything else is on low for visibility reasons. Um, I, I've gone through accessibility settings. The only thing that really matters is the whole reduce hold to interact. It makes you able to navigate the world easier. Um, gameplay, slimline, doesn't obstruct your visibility. Show tool tails on map table, allows you to see more on the map. Crew status tags is a must, so you can always see where your crewmates are. Now, if I want to quickly give you a demonstration, if you look at my P my uh, FPS in my top left, right? Oh, on all mythical, if I go onto the island, I'm on 100 and 120, 110 frames you know not, not, nothing crazy uh as you saw there when i aimed in i actually got a game stutter i don't know if that would that i mean that does usually happen to me anyway but uh, if you look at the quality of the island real quick as well it, yes the game looks absolutely stunning but uh there's a bit of glow there's uh, occlusion there's uh, there's bloom on everything right um now if i turn this all the way down to custom look at the difference everything's smoother shadows are different my fps has doubled i'm up to 230 240 frames i can see a lot easier and it makes my life a lot easier if i'm tdming someone on an island if they're trying to steal or whatever makes everything a lot nicer to look at and there you go the game's just started but uh yeah that honestly about wraps it up for this video let me quickly uh, sit down and talk to you guys. Um, that about wraps up for this video. Uh, let me quickly grab a thumbnail. There we go. Um, yeah, that about wraps up for this video. Hopefully you guys have uh, gathered some information from this. And, um, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's been helpful. Um, so, yeah, that, that concludes the video. Those are my settings, the reasons why. And uh, hopefully this answers a lot of your questions and gives you a big FPS boost. Please remember to hit the subscribe button if you are new around here and you have enjoyed the video. Let me know, leaving a comment what your current settings are and if you're going to change any of them to what I have shown you. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys over on my stream. I should be streaming today if I manage to get this video out. Um, so come, come and watch my stream. Uh, we're doing Obsidian Capstan giveaways and Obsidian Six Pack giveaways daily. So uh, yeah, come and check that out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.